What's up, what's up, YouTube fam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Candace, and today I'm going to show you guys how I did these goddess braids on my hair. So if you want to see how I did it, or you want to see other protective style tutorials, natural hair product reviews, or anything else all about natural hair, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be part of the Curly Candy Crew. Alright guys, so I want to start off this video by saying I am not a professional braider. I am not a professional braider. I am not a professional braider. And I say that to say, like if you're looking for like a professional hairstyle where every braid is just amazing and all that stuff, the parts are bomb and everything, that's not what this is y'all. This is just a tutorial for the average person who wants to do their own braids because they don't want to spend $250 for somebody else to do them, okay? I'm just trying to help you out. I'm trying to put you up on game so you can do it yourself, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, so for the hair I use, I use the Innocence brand Easy Braid Professional. It looks like this. And it's already pre-stretched and pre-layered. You see at the end, it kind of gets tapered down. So I used about three, I used about three packs of this hair. And then for the wavy hair at the end, uh, I threw away the label thing, but it's called, I'm gonna use it back. It's called the 3X I Define Easy Body. Um, wave and like even in the picture she has like the little braids or whatever but it looks like this in the front it comes with three bundles of wavy hair wavy crochet hair and I ended up using two bundles so you can just get one pack of this and that's all that's all you need I think it was like six dollars I'm going to add a picture so you can, guys can see what the actual package looks like and to define my parts and to slick my roots down, I use the Style Factor Edge Booster Gel. Um, but I will warn you guys that this gel does get sticky. So when I was like braiding my hair, the stickiness would cause the hair to stick to my hands, if that makes sense. Like it was just super sticky. So I use some of this Garnier Fruit Teeth just a little bit just to put on my hands so my hands can get unsticky. But it doesn't really, you don't really need it. It doesn't really do anything for the braids. I just used it to unstick my hair whenever the gel got too sticky. All right, and of course guys, you need a rat tail comb so that you can part your hair. So to prep my hair and get them ready for the braids, what I did the night before is that I washed my hair and I deep conditioned it for about 30 minutes with the shower cap on. And after I finished deep conditioning, I went through with this olive oil conditioning spray oil and I sprayed it all over my hair. And then I also did this hmm, Do Grow Mega Thick Lotion. And I put this all over my hair too. And then I just braided my hair into four big plaits because I did not want to blow dry my hair. I'm trying to grow my hair back. I'm trying to do as much length retention as possible. So I'm not putting any heat on my hair. So I just put my hair into four plaits and let it air dry overnight. All right, guys. So for the parting of my hair, I tried my best to do the brick laying method. Y'all, I suck at parting, but I was going after the brick laying method, which I'm showing you guys right here. Um, that's what I was going for. And that's what I tried to do. And so now that I showed you guys the kind of parting pattern I did, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I braided my hair. Ryan okay, guys, so right now I'm just adding the gel to my hair just to make sure the roots are smooth. And I'm taking my braiding hair and splitting it in half because we're going to feed the braiding hair in. And as you know, when you plait your hair or braid your hair, you use three strands. So I'm just splitting my hair into three strands right now. And then I'm going to braid one, two, three. And then I grab the braiding hair. And with the braiding hair, I put it behind the braid, not in front. Uh, so I'm putting it behind strands one and two, and then I'm taking the third strand on my index finger, and I'm going to bring it in between to secure it, and just continue braiding. And I know it's hard to see, guys. I'm so sorry. It was so hard for me to record um, and braid at the same time because my hands was getting in the way. But I'm trying my best to explain it. 
Then with the second piece we're fitting in, I just do the same thing. Put the braiding hair behind strand one and two, not in front. Because if you put it in front, you'll be able to see it. But I just put it behind it. And then take that third strand and secure it in. And as you can see, you can't even tell where I added the hair on the braid. Okay, and when you get to the end, well, not the end, almost halfway to the end of the braid, you want to get your wavy hair just a little bit. You don't need a lot of the wavy hair. And I'm just adding it in the same way, putting it behind strands one and two right there. Then I'm taking the third strand that's on my index finger, and I'm bringing it in between strand one and two to secure it in, and then I just continue braiding. And, to, and then to secure the braid, all I do is grab a really thin piece of hair and I just tie a knot around the ends, like around two or three times, just to secure it. And there it is, it's all secure. Alright, so this, I'm just going to show you guys one more time what I did. As you see, I'm getting started, getting ready to braid my hair. I'm doing one, two, three, and then I'm grabbing, then I'm grabbing the braiding hair, and I'm going to put it behind strands one and two. Then I'm taking the third strand that's on my index finger and I'm going to bring it over in between strands one and two to secure it in. Then I just keep braiding. Okay guys, and also with tying the knot, sometimes your knots will unravel. So what I would just do is grab a lighter after I retighten it and put it onto the knot and then secure it with my, with my finger to make sure that it doesn't unravel again. So I just wanted to give you guys some extra tips just to make the braids as natural and I guess bohemian looking as possible. So my first tip is for the wavy hair. Now when you add the wavy hair to the braid, make sure that you add the wavy hair at different lengths along the braid so that it does look all uniform and weird like this right here. Now I'm not trying to knock anybody, if that's what you like then, then that's fine, but personally to me I don't like the way that looks. I feel like these braids are supposed to be like maybe kind of naturally messy, I don't know, and I feel like if it looks too perfect, too uniform, it just looks weird and it takes the look out of it. So as you see here, I'm trying to show you guys. One braid, the wavy hair, the braid goes all the way down and then the wave starts right here. And then on this braid, the braid stops right here and then the wavy part comes. Don't have them be all uniform. Don't have them be all uniform. Have the braids and the wavy hair start at different lengths. Don't make them all the same. It looks better, trust me. Don't let that crap start at the same length. And my second tip, which now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really have that many tips, but my second tip, and I think my last tip, it has to do with your edges. When it comes to your edges, guys, leave y'all edges out. Do not be trying to push all of this back into the braid. I know I know you guys want it to be neat and perfect, but it's not supposed to be that. And also, y'all are killing y'all edges. Y'all brushing it back so much. Leave them out. Protect your hair. Save the edges. Hashtag save the edges, okay? Leave them out. Okay, and my third tip has to do with cutting the ends. So after you get finished braiding, um, since, like I said before, you started all of your wavy ends at different lengths. So at the end, your ends are going to be at different lengths. The wavy ends are going to be at different lengths. Some are going to be like past your butt, some are going to be at your waist or whatever. So when you cut them, 
So when it comes time to cut, to make them all even, when you cut, don't just cut straight across blunt. Cut in a downward motion and just go towards the end. I'm not cutting them right now because, of course, I mean, I've already cut them. But now that I'm looking at it, that side was a little weird. Let me flip it over so I can get it. But, like, cut in a downward motion. Don't just cut straight across. It makes it look better. You don't want, you don't want a blood cut, okay? Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. When it comes to my nighttime routine, what I do with the braids, get my good old jumbo bonnet. Put that thing on like this. And this me, y'all. This is how I go to sleep. You see? It's all in there. Oops.